Hello, Leo, and welcome to Blunt Side G Tarot. My name is Robin, and Leo, today, let's do your love reading for the month of November 2023. Let's talk about you. Let's see what's going on, what's coming down the chute, what you can expect in the department of love. Soul contract. Okay. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. Clearly a soul contract, soul bond with this person. Okay. Let's see what you guys are, let's see what's going on between the two of you here in November. Well, the Ace of Swords in reverse. It did come up flipped right, but it flipped that way. So I'm taking it. Let's, there's the magician. Yeah. Okay. And Leo, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings if you want one. The link is in the description box below. And just be reminded, my readings are $30 Canadian, and I send them in two to four business days. So we got the magician. We got the Six of Cups. We got the Fool. We got the Nine of Wands. We got the Five of Cups. There's a little bit of history here with this person in... That this reading's about for the month of November. We got the Five of Pentacles. We got the Five of Swords. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the world. All right. Let's see what is going on here. Leo. The Ace of Swords in reverse is a card of being stuck, miscommunication, misunderstanding. Could be overanalyzing. Could be confusion. What is the Ace of... But we, we, we got clarity coming through here. <laughs> with the Magician. So what you want to say about this Ace of Swords here? Two of Pentacles and the Devil. You could deal with the Capricorn. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Um... So you could be dealing with an Aries for me. The fool is always Aries energy. So huh, I feel there's, yeah, and there's the eight of wands. You're trying, there's the tower. Yeah, definitely something dramatic happens between you and this person. I feel like you're just trying to create balance in your life. You could be trying to figure out what happened, or you could just be trying to figure out how to progress forward. Obviously, there's been some lessons learned here with this person on your end, Leo, but as well on their end. But there is, I feel it's a sense of more of confusion um trying to figure out i think i feel feel like you're trying to figure out what happened here there's a six you're giving a lot of attention to this this is on your mind a lot so let's see how that plays out you're thinking a lot about this person and what happened here leo talk about the magician what's the magician energy here the hierophant ten of cups in reverse there's your lesson there's a queen of swords could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius could be dealing with the taurus um you're definitely i feel like you're trying to have a fresh start over a pretty traumatic ending something very difficult here um, the Hierophant does represent spiritual lessons. It also represents you could have been in a very long-term committed relationship where you thought this was heading there and things just took an abrupt halt here. I believe you're trying to have a fresh start and just heal over something difficult. The Queen of Swords tells us you're a little bit, you know, scorned. This is the Queen of Swords is a woman scorned. She's been hurt. She's been beaten, battered, bruises, metaphorically, of course. Um, but she's been through some shit and she's just trying to progress forward through logic and planning. I feel you're trying to let go of a connection here, trying to have a fresh start after something, um, very difficult. Um, and surprising, it really didn't end. You didn't think it would end up this way. And you're thinking a lot about how to move forward. The six of cups is an energy of healing after, you know, healing the inner child, healing within yourself. Let's we'll see if it's this person coming through here in the month of November. Or what do you want to say about the six of cups? No, it's just, um, yeah, you're just, you're thinking a lot about this. Look at this. The six of wands again and the four of wands, Leo, they could be thinking a lot about this as well. But I really feel like it's more of your energy. I think you're just trying to heal and move forward here. Have a fresh start after a difficult ending. The Knight of Wands is the Wounded Warrior again, you know. Um, he's got his helmet on. He's been hurt. He's just surrendering to the wills of the cosmos, though. He's just progressing forward and doing the best that he can in order to progress forward. Five of Cups and Five of Pentacles. There's a negative connotation around this ending, around this person, around that connection. Um, there's um, definitely Wounded Warrior energy here, Leo. We're trying to... Um, well, we have the five, <laughs> five, five, five. How did it take me so long to, to recognize that? But um, fives represent change in tarot. Fives always represent a little bit of chaos, a little bit of conflict. Um, but they do represent change in a new cycle. You could be seeing a lot of fives here. So you're just trying to turn your back on this past. I see November as mostly a month of kind of letting go of a connection. You may have recently broken up or you might be breaking up at the beginning of November. And you're just trying to release that, have a fresh start, have a new beginning, free yourself from that past energy. But there is some sorrow here. There is some frustration. But with the Five of Swords here, it's just an energy of realizing it wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't going to be long term. It wasn't going to be your person. It, there was obviously maybe red flags some flaws some lack of compatibility. And it's just turning your back on a situation that didn't serve you. But is it easy? No. These people in the background are pretty defeated, pretty deflated. I have a very heavy feeling over my heart. So, Leo, this is mostly a month of healing, letting go of a negative energy. Um, and just letting it, you know, a fresh start and a new beginning here. Um, after a very difficult ending, I'm going to say. Is there anything else you want to say here for Leo? Have it, there you are. 
having the yeah ooh, we might have been really betrayed here um but you know the ten of swords is representative of a difficult ending a difficult transition could have been multiple betrayals it could have simply been one but you feel betrayed stabbed in the back and this is just having the courage to let that go right learn from that experience um there could have been red flags or something that you missed within that hoping they change hoping things could be different or you just got to could have got completely blindsided and got fooled but whatever that energy would be um and it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new horizon that's the point of the ten of swords and it's having the courage to flip that and look at this ending as something positive right the longer you spend with the wrong person the longer it takes to find the right person um and this is just having the courage and the strength to take it one day at a time leo and let yourself progress forward and there's the page of cups oh there's a six uh, you want i don't feel that's a there's the eight of wands i think you want to really I think you're having the courage and the strength to hold back. I think you want to say something. You might have maybe some closure to say or there's something you want to say. I just get this element of it's like, you know, you're trying not to text them. So it's like you type the text and you delete it. It's like, no, I'm not saying this. I'm not re-going down this path. I'm not reliving this. Um, and you're trying not to, to, to contact this person. You know, they're out of your life for a reason. You want them to stay there. Um, and if that's not your energy, it is their energy. Flip it, right? It's a general reading. They might have wanting to, to, to talk to you, to clear, you know, but they're holding back. I feel like it's an energy of both people knowing that it's over, but both people wanting to talk to each other, but just knowing that whatever happened is, is the end, right? It's just done. It's never easy. So Lee, I'm sorry you're going through that. That's what I see in the month of November here. Let's grab some oracles. We'll see what they want to say. Um, and we'll see how you're doing in December. Spirit guides, what does Leo need to surrender to as they uh, go through this, this, this transition in their life? Your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to be open to the infinite nature of abundance in this way. You can succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Okay. And the lesson here for Leo. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Okay. I want to grab the energy oracle message for this reading and see what they want to say here, Leo. Spirit guys, what's the energy oracle message here for Leo? Ah. Okay. I'm going to have to track that bad boy down. Door to value. Okay. There's a couple messages with that card here in the love reading. We have uh, their third chakra, your solar plexus here. And, ooh, your seventh chakra. Yeah. The seventh chakra is in reverse. That's your intuition. There might have been a blockage. You know, sometimes there's some, this is representative, but especially when two chakras come off, there could be a chakra blockage here, Leo. So it just means to do some guided meditations, um, listen to some binaural beats, um, you know, just do your chakra work, get those energies flowing. There is a block in your intuition here um and that's your creativity your solar plexus energy so just allow yourself to get creative think outside the box allow yourself to progress forward i feel like there's two messages here there's a side message that for those of you where there's been a financial crunch or a struggle like let's say you were married living together and shit now you got to split your assets and all that um this is just representing of your your money coming in <laughs> this is your money flowing your money flying um it's just an increase in finances but for those of you um, where that's not applicable has nothing to do with that then this is just a deeper level that this is about self-love and self-care putting yourself first, making sure you're setting up healthy boundaries. When you show the world how you want to be treated and set healthy boundaries, they're going to send people into your life that treat you the way you want to be treated. And this door to value just represents self-love, putting yourself first, focusing on yourself and making sure you're setting up healthy boundaries with the people that come into your life. All right, Leo, let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there is always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome... Where are you in the month of December 2023? How are you doing? How are you feeling? How are things progressing? Let's see what's going on. Let's see if there's an energy shift. We have the Ace of Wands. We have Death and Rebirth in reverse. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. Two more here for Leo. We have the King of Cups. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio. There's the Devil. No. I think that King of Cups is you. There's the Wheel of Fortune. There's the Two of Cups. Okay. There's the Ten of Pentacles interesting so we have water sign cancer scorpio pisces heavy emphasis on scorpio we also have capricorn energy here you know the world is turning the wheel is spinning in your favor as the world turns remember that soap opera <laughs> um i feel that i feel there's a resistance on your end here um to having a fresh start to having a new beginning right you want to take the time to heal you want to make sure that you're progressing forward you don't want to jump into anything too quickly um however you're a leo and therefore you're probably very confident very attractive very outgoing um and that draws people in people are drawn to your energy i do feel you're just kind of sick of this and, and, and it's like i feel like halfway through december is what i feel is you just kind of realize 
it's time to move forward. It's time to get out there. It's time to start dating again. It's time to put myself out. I feel like you just like you took enough time here. Um, and it's just time to move on. It's time to move forward. And what I see is someone new coming through. Um, but I feel you're going to take things very slow and it's going to be like a friends and then lovers, or it could be a friend that was there for you, shoulder to lean on and something ends up progressing forward. Take that how it goes. It could go both ways. Um, I feel there's a lot of physical attraction here with this devil, or you're just simply dealing with the Capricorn. Um, but the wheel is spinning in your favor. It is your destiny. Things are progressing forward. New fresh start, new beginning here. Um, and again, some of you, it's going to be a friend that was here for you through this dark time, this hard time, something happens. And then for others of you here, Leo, you're going to take things slow. You're going to develop a friendship, but it's leading into this Ten of Pentacles. So it could be somebody new coming through, or it could be a kindred friendship developing into something more. But either way, in the month of December, things progress forward. I kind of feel like it's about halfway through the month. Um, you start to, you know, heal from that energy, let go of that energy, and you're ready to start dating and getting out there. Um, and you have something going through here with this King of Cups, someone who's emotionally available, someone who's intuitive, someone who's definitely drawn to you. That fish could be someone who's religious or someone who follows the teachings of Jesus. Um, but it's just this energy of progressing forward here, Leo, meeting somebody new or something progressing or with an already friendship friend in your life. So December is much better than November. I can say that November is simply a month of healing and it does take time to heal. And it's, you know, give, give, give yourself props uh, for healing instead of jumping up into something too quickly. Um, and in December, something happens naturally here. Um, and you're just taking it slow. That's what I got. That's what's up. That's what's going down. So Leo, <laughs> if you'd enjoyed your reading, if you enjoy my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. What's the answer for Leo? Yes, we got two. Okay, let's see what's up. We got no, we got yes, we got no. So whenever this happens, I always feel like someone asks more than one question, but I always feel like there's also a message. So seven of swords in reverse, ace of cups and the four cups. Yeah, it's just taking action. The seven of swords in reverse is um, secrets come out. It's, an, it's a betrayal that definitely happened. Somebody was hiding from something and it's just a fresh start after that went down. Four cups in reverse is just moving forward, right? You took the time to heal and it's just reminding you that there's a fresh start coming through here, Leo, and you're going to be happy with where you end up. That's what I have. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.